welcome back to my channel today we are starting a brand new series i haven't done a series in a while the last one i did was advent calendars in november or october it was christmas in october and that went so well so i thought i think it's time we start a new series for 2020 and what can i do that a lot of people have been asking for and the answer to that question is looking at my collection so it's become a little bit difficult and annoying for me to have to get out my whole collection for one video and you don't actually get to see the items in that much detail so for me it's really not the best way to do it. One I've enjoyed doing in the past was my Hufflepuff collection so I think, and this is where the idea started from, that I'm going to do a top eight, it's going to be a top eight kind of month or couple of months where I go through my top eight items of lots of different Harry Potter categories. We are starting this week with one that I know you're going to love, Harry Potter Primark items. Now this was tough. There are so many items I've had from the Primark range which have been fantastic, so to whittle them down to eight was difficult. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots more of my top eight videos. So there will be Funko Pops, my Hufflepuff collection, Noble collection, wands. There will also be Harry Potter books, coloring books, so many different things that I have got in my house. Oh, clothing, socks, there's too much pins. We haven't even scratched the surface today. So do make sure that you don't miss any of the future videos which will be uploaded on Saturdays at five o'clock. So we're starting off with this Marauder's Map jumper. You may remember this. I got this a long time ago now. And also we just need to note that a lot of these items will not be available in Primark now because they are from 2017, 18. So they could be a few years old. I don't think any of the items featured are probably still in stores, but they do have a nice collection still in there. So this Marauder's Map jumper, I have had since I started collecting Harry Potter Primark merch and Harry Potter merch in general. I got it in July 2017. It cost me £10 and it's lovely. I've worn it lots. The quality's been fantastic. It's been around the washing machine a lot of times now. One of my favourite things about it is the fact it's grey, very wearable. The fact that we have got Marauder's Map print all the way through it, onto the sleeves, onto the front. And this is kind of like a felt or velvet material for the actual logo. I really like this design. It's quite a lightweight jumper, so you can wear it through autumn, spring and winter. You might just need to layer it up a bit in winter. Goes with so many different outfits. This jumper is definitely my favourite out of my clothing items I've had from Primark. There's been quite a few different t-shirts over the years, hoodies, tops, pyjamas. I love pyjamas too. This is just got to be the top of them all. At number seven, we have to have a pyjama set. There are so many good Harry Potter pyjama sets. I've had a few different ones over the years and it's got to the point now where pretty much every set of mine is Harry Potter related. I have a lovely Marauder's Map one, which when I saw it drying on the clothing rail, I thought, oh, I could have used that set, but I've committed to my fluffy pyjamas because they are so cosy. I got these for Christmas this year. You probably saw them already in my what I got for Christmas video. They were around 10 to 12 pounds. They were a present. You can get them in all houses and you may still be able to get them, but I feel like maybe not now. They have an embroidered Hufflepuff crest or whichever house you are. And then mine says Hufflepuff forever. And it's just so cosy. You could wear them all weekend. You could wear them every evening and there's something about having a jumper and trousers that makes it much easier to wear than say a onesie because I love my Harry Potter onesie but when you need the toilet that is just impractical. These are so much more practical and the bottoms on their own are so cute even if you don't like Harry Potter they are just adorable. I love the print and I wear them all the time. Number six is a household item. Now they did such a good home range over the years. They still add to it now and you can kit out your entire house for next to no money compared to most shops in a Harry Potter way. The products look fantastic. I've had lots dotted around my flat and I know lots of other people have kitted out their kids' bedrooms, their library, their bedroom. 
it's amazing. Now they've done quite a few different lights, but this has to be my favourite. It's a Deathly Hallows metal light. I love the contemporary look. These little circles of light, if that's what they're called, that sounds a bit weird, look amazing. And you could put this on a shelf, even if you don't really collect Harry Potter merch, and it would look really nice and definitely not out of place. As you guys know, I keep it on my shelf all the time and put it on for each video. I have had other Harry Potter lights, but none of them have lived up to this one's level. I did have some tiny Deathly Hallows lights. But yeah, they, they just didn't look good on my shelf. They made it look cluttered. I'm going to be doing a whole revamp this year of the shelves. So look out for that because I know that's another thing you guys want to see. This light, I believe, was about £14 and it is metal, I think. Or maybe it's plastic, but it feels like metal. It feels like a weighty design that would not be out of place in the studio tour shop where they would probably charge you upwards of £25 to £30 and that's probably the cheap end of the scale. So this is a bargain. Any more Harry Potter lights in Primark, look out for them. Number five is a mug. I have had quite a few Harry Potter mugs. I have a little collection in the cupboard, but I also have something that I like to call decorative mugs that I don't use. Doesn't roll off the tongue. Basically, there are some mugs which are optimum for drinking tea, and I'm fussy about that. But there are also some mugs that you still have to buy because they are very pretty. And this one is one of those mugs that goes on my shelf. I've never used it, but it's been in many a photo and it stores jewellery. I think the reason I like this mug so much is because it has Axio tea written on the saucer. It's got the grim over here and it's got a little quote from the book on the back. Some people don't like the fact that it's not accurate with the grim inside. I mean, that is a good point but I like the design on the outside. It's pretty much the most English piece of Harry Potter Primark merch you could have. And it was an absolute bargain for 4 .99. I don't think it was in many of the stores. My friend actually picked it up for me. But 4 .99, this again is a really nice item, which doesn't feel cheap. It feels great and I love it. Practical merch is merch that we need in our lives. And I have been using practical merch for the last three years. I think, again, this must be in the first haul of Harry Potter Primark items that I ever got. And funnily enough, I think actually three of the items I featured today are from those first batch of products. I think over the years, it's got a little bit kind of samey now. And a lot of the merch is chibi featuring and a lot of people don't like that so much, but they still come out with some really great pieces like the pyjamas I showed you and something else I'll be showing you in a minute. In the fourth position, a Harry Potter backpack. Students don't really take backpacks to Hogwarts, but does that matter? No, because this is gorgeous and something that probably in 2020 they would take day to day around the corridors to their lessons. There are always little things with this, and I know a few of you might point this out, that I'm not sure, and it was brought to my attention way after I purchased it, that the crest features a Hufflepuff badger with a blue surround, Ravenclaw colours, and Ravenclaw has white. So I think they've done that due to the fact that the actual crest itself is yellow, but it's just a shame that on a product which looks so great, and this looks perfect, this crest, they had to kind of mess up the colours. Not sure why they do things like that when it is officially licensed, but it's happened. And regardless, if you're looking at this bag, it looks amazing. It's good quality. I've used it a lot. It's perfect for things like camping or day trips. You've got your little pocket at the front to store your phone. And then at the back, you can store your packed lunch. It's got a handle and it's washable material. So it's gonna last you a while. I don't know how strong these handles are, but I've had no problems. One thing I love to do on Instagram is back to Hogwarts photos. So I have done a few back to Hogwarts photos with this. So check out my Instagram to see lots of those photos from the last three years. At the time, this was just 10 pounds. And I know that Primark still make different Harry Potter backpacks, which are amazing. I've had a couple over the years and this is just one of them. They are so, so useful. In at number three, is one of the more recent Harry Potter Primark items. It came out last year and it is the Mirror of Erised. Mirror, 
So they do lots of replicas. Noble Collection have a replica. I've seen replicas at the studio tour. None of them are cheap. None of them are affordable. But this one is, which is great. It's £10, would look beautiful, if not a little bit small, on your dressing table. But it is so pretty. The detail is stunning. I love the distressed gold. And it was only about £10. So when it came out, I kind of had to go to Primark the next day because I was so desperate to have it in my collection. And it's been on my shelves ever since. Again, I believe it's not completely accurate with where the spokes are, but things like that, you get the gist of it. It looks amazing. It's got the writing along the top and it's really good quality. It's quite a heavy piece. So you can hang it on your wall or you can stand it up like a photo frame. So it works whichever way you want to use it. And it's definitely probably not just my top eight Harry Potter Primark items, but it would be in the top, I don't know, 20 Harry Potter items in general. It's so, so nice. Number two and number one are quite similar in their pegging. I wasn't sure which one to put at the top of the list and which one to move into the second position. But I thought about it carefully. I had to kind of go with my gut and this is the way it's gone. Number two, we have this Hufflepuff blanket. Blankets have been a staple item that Primark provide for so many different fandoms. At the moment, they're doing Stranger Things. They're still doing Harry Potter ones. They've done Disney ones and they're roughly always the same price, £6. That is a bargain. So I remember this is before I understood the kind of depth of how much Harry Potter stuff Primark were going to sell. I had no idea that they were going to do house specific blankets. So I do remember going in that store and seeing these and just being like, what? Because I didn't think there would be any Hufflepuff merch and it turns out they have been very good at stocking merch for every single house, which has been incredible. And it's meant that I've been able to get Hufflepuff duvet sets, Hufflepuff cushions, Hufflepuff pyjamas, pretty much anything you want, you can get in most of the houses. But I know some of the smaller stores have only tended to do Gryffindor and Slytherin as the main houses, but it, it's been kind to us all. So this blanket, six pound so fluffy and i've used it so much this is one of the items i've had right from the beginning it's been a perfect backdrop for when i've been taking photos it's been comfy and cozy of an evening and i used it just yesterday i use it all the time it features the house crest all over it with white and yellow stars it's perfect if you pick this up at the studio tour i have to use the studio tour as a comparison half of the time this could easily, and I would pay about £20 for it. Yeah, because it's just so nice and it's such good quality. I love this. It's definitely worthy of being number one, but I have an even better item for number one. So last but not least is probably, I'm thinking about this before I say it, my most talked about Harry Potter item when I've shown it online or even in person is something that makes a statement and for one of the lowest costs i believe this is the cheapest item on my top eight it actually is it is the cheapest item on my top eight it was just three pounds and i came across it randomly in the jewelry section of primark and i don't wear it lots it's mainly a prop but i've worn it on special occasions to the tour and to different events i've been to and I love it, it's great. Three pound for a Time Turner necklace. Isn't this lovely? You've probably all seen it before, as I've said, but it was never in a haul on my channel. And bearing in mind, if you want to see more of my Harry Potter Primark items that I've had over the years, I have a whole playlist devoted to come shop with me videos and also hauls. So check out all of the different hauls that I've done because there's just so much merch for you to see. Can you believe that for three pound, they can actually make this time turner spin? So it's got the three moving parts. It actually spins really well. It clearly doesn't have any moving sand or a proper egg timer in the middle, and none of these notches work on the sides. But the fact that it actually spins and looks so nice when you wear it. It's such a steal at three pounds. And they have done it a couple of times. They've re-released it a few times because so many people have said, where did you get that? Oh, I wish Primark would stock that again. They clearly listened and they have brought it back, but I haven't seen it again for a while. But I would be almost tempted to buy another one if I saw it because it's just such a lovely piece of merch. 
I have quite a few different time turners and this is still one of my favourites. I wear it sparingly because clearly costume jewellery can go miscoloured quite easily but this hasn't at the moment I'm looking at it and it's still the colour that I bought it in. I've looked after it well. So that has to be number one. I hope you agree that this was a great item to place there because look at it. So that is the end of my top eight Harry Potter Primark items. Vote in the comments down below for what you would like to see me do a top eight video on next. I have so many ideas. So if you guys don't give me ideas, I'm just going to throw them at you anyway, because I have so many different aspects to my collection. I don't know where I'm going to go next. I'm going to have a good think this week about which top eight we're going to feature next week. We'll have some more subscription boxes soon another haul so there's lots coming up on my channel so as I said to you guys earlier don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it I'll see you again soon bye <laughs>